Nettie Kay. Welcome back to my studio. How many of you guys would like to kind of get past the CRAP that's been happening in the world, especially in the United States in the last couple of days? Hello, me. I'm about ready to change uh, and do my next uh, couple of videos with a French accent. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, we're going to move into some creative stuff and try to divert our little troubled brains and move on into painting a beautiful German Shepherd. Who's with me? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, now I got this uh, German Shepherd commission from one of my dad's friends from high school. Actually, it was his wife that contacted me on Facebook. Her name's Wanda, and his name's Terry. And Terry actually went with went to high school with my dad. My dad is 80 years old. The last time they saw me, I must have been about two or three years old. But they've been following me on Facebook. Yeah, so I'm painting this dog for their daughter, Terry Jo. So let's get going. Quit talking. Yeah, okay. Well, now I've kind of messed around and put a uh, dark uh, background uh, color on to this 16 by 20 canvas, and I'm kind of rubbing it in a little bit. I've got a little bit of blues and purples and a couple of different things. And what I'm doing with this one is I'm just making this kind of as a base to work off. Sorry about that scratchy noise. And I'm going to take a take my photo and a Q-tip, and I'm dipping my Q-tip in a little bit of, of odorless thinner, and I'm going to Put the nose, uh, let's see, I think somewhere in about, right about here. And I'm gonna decide, um, here's my, my little mark for my nose. And I know the head is gonna be slightly tilted, so I'm gonna take it from right about here down, and we're gonna take that down like that. And so uh, the head's tilted, so I wanna make sure that the nose is tilted, the mouth is tilted, everything's gonna be tilted at the same angle, all right? Don't forget when you're doing something like that, that the eyes and everything tilts at the same angle. We don't just suddenly, you know, level out the eyeballs. Well, we do, that's the problem. We'll level out the eyeball and the nose will look completely crooked and we wonder what in the world's wrong with this picture. All right, well, that's what's wrong with the picture. So I'm gonna start with that and then I'm going to find, uh, let's see, I'm gonna put the, uh, the break in the nose right here, little arrow in the nose here, and we'll make this little boxy uh, structure of that nose. It's a little bit like there's an arrow at the bottom and then of course that number six will be the dark dark part there. Now I want to just kind of give that that darkness and then I'm going to make sure I've got the angle of the nose just like that. And that's the light part so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of a towel, a tiny piece of my paper towel, and I'm going to remove this highlight right there and that just helps me a little bit to try to figure out where things go. Okay, so here's part of the nostril. And I'm going to paint that dark again just for a second because I think uh, we need to make sure that we don't lose that. So we'll put the darkness back into the nose. And uh, we're going to paint it in large, well, kind of large masses to start with. And then we'll work into, that's really, really high. So uh, I need to make sure that we get enough. This is a big nose. Whoa, a little bigger, a little bigger. I'm gonna take a bunch out so that I can make sure that I don't make it too small and really mess it up. So they, I think I'm always thinking when I'm doing portraits or when I'm doing dog paintings that if I get the nose right, then everything kind of falls into place. Kind of looks like a big marshmallow, doesn't it? It does. Now I'm gonna look like, um, I'm gonna come back in with some really dark value, maybe a little bit of black with purple. And uh, we're gonna put in just some marks in here to indicate where the nostril is and the little split in the nose, that kind of thing. And then I'll come around the outside and give it um, the negative shape, which is the shape around the object. There's a little bit of a, a shadow right there. And I'm gonna try to do this loosely, but carefully at the same time. Okay, so let's, let's get it right. And that way you don't have to do it five times. You wanna make sure that each one of your strokes really is part of the final part of the painting, but don't pick it to death to where you're so worried about it, you, you just lose track of the entire painting. But I, I wanna get this nose to work right, right from the beginning. And then I'm gonna work my way out by coming out like this. And I wanna use my Q-tip again, because it's a little bit lighter. And then I'll find the side of the, no, the muzzle right there. And then it has this little droopy thing that kind of comes down like this. This little, little muzzle like that and we'll get it, do it kind of like a little bit of a drawing 
you can you can do this in kind of mass where you just you know take a big rag and, and do it like that but I'm using this little q-tip it's wonderful I should probably get stock in q-tips because I use so many of them okay so now I'm going to come back up and I'm going to decide what the distance is between the edge of that nose and where that muzzle comes in and it's pretty pretty skinny right there and the angle will give me where the cross is at the top of the nose you know right where the the muzzle or the nose begins and the whole structure of the nose and then the bridge of the nose is light so I'm going to take out that section right there I should probably be using a rag because it would be a lot more efficient but not as accurate so there we go I'm just taking out kind of where the light hits at the top of that nose isn't that fun it's already starting to kind of come together and then as it goes around let's see then it gets very dark around here this is the eyebrow bone and this one will come up over the eyebrow there and we'll be able to find where this goes as we work our way out now hopefully we've got sort of an idea where those eyes fit but not really so I'm going to come in with another brush and I'm going to come in with a darker value we're going to go in like this and say all right here's where this this part of the the hair on the nose is kind of dark as it turns away from the, the light not sure which way the light is coming from it seems like it's the middle of the day um, and then we have the the dark fur of the eye or the hair that goes up and around the eye it helps me to find the location of the eye by putting in the structure of the face first okay so I don't put the eyes nose and mouth in off and I before I kind of get the the uh, you know the eyebrows the brow bone the cheeks and the chin in it's a lot easier to find where everything goes and there's where that first eye goes in I'm pretty sure so now I'm going to get another a uh, little bit of a clean rag over here and then I'm going to take a little bit of thinner and this is a piece of a sweatshirt so maybe that'll be nice and hurdy and now I'm going to come in around here there's a piece of the muzzle there and the face kind of whoo, turns in that direction that's nice uh, and then I'll take that while I've got that on there and just go oh that's good we'll take the edge of that dog and kind of wipe that out a little bit and then I want to come up above and take out a little bit of the light at the top of the head work that down a little bit and also some of the light that kind of comes across here I better get a little thinner a little thinner paper towel kind of rag this is a, a Viva Viva paper towel and I like those I'm not uh, sponsored by them but it's just something that I use a lot of artists use them because you don't get all those little lint things that come off of there now uh, let's see now this one is going to come out at a little bit of an angle too and around kind of where that eye goes and then we have a few bits of hair here and there a little eyebrow eyebrow and it comes around and the little white part of the chin it's not wild how fast that starts coming together you want it fast yes but you also want it really really good you know if somebody asks you uh, especially when you've been painting for a long time how long did it take you to do that painting well some paintings take me three months to do and uh, but most of the time you know I'll say something to the point of oh, well it took me a month and 20 years that's just part of uh, what you have to realize is that so much of what we do is, whoo, is uh, um, you know, it just takes so long to learn how to do it exactly the way you want it to do, to do it. So, you know, you just got to keep practicing so much in order to get very, very good at it. But you get better at it every day, so it's fun. I love it. I love it. Wow, doesn't that look bizarre? Yeah. <laughs> That cracks me up. He's got this big googly eye. All right, well, we'll start working on that a little bit. All right, so I'm going to come in and uh, figure out where and uh, comes out and in and up 
and around and over and around and through. That's a nice dark value there. And then I'll come back in as I darken that up like this. Okay, that's better. And then we'll come in a little bit of dark here. Comes up there. I'm just double checking everything. And I try to get the second eye into the proper position just like that. Uh, now what I've got to do is I've got to make a nice orange uh, with some white. This is transparent orange. You can use a little Indian yellow. Uh, that would work fine too. And then uh, I'm going to come in uh, and we're going to double check things. I'm going to put in a little bit of that. Uh, here's a nice light area here. I'm just finding a few spots that I want to make sure I preserve a little bit. That's the top of the head. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a light that kind of comes around a warm light there that comes around the nose and then uh, there's a light right there and then one across the eyebrow and then as it goes up in as I'm picking up other paint it starts to change uh, I'm not reloading my brush yet that's okay now the lightest light uh, we've got the light coming in from looks like it's kind of up above a little bit but I'm going to put in the light, kind of the light on the chest right here and begin that outside fur. I don't want to begin doing too much on the inside because the hair overlaps. And so the outside fur is really what I'm, I'm working on right now because this fur is going to overlap that fur. Okay, does that make sense? So if I start over here a little bit with this outside fur like that, then I can overlap it with uh, the next round of fur like this. Okay, so then I can take it in with a little bit of the straight um, orange and, and then come over the top of it like this. See how the outside fur is kind of beyond, behind and on the outside and then this fur overlaps that fur. I hope that makes sense. So start on the outside and work your way over. And the same thing goes for over here. All right, well, I've got this kind of darker uh, bluish black hair on this side. So I'm going to go and work my way from the outside of the dog to the inside of the dog. All right, so here's my outside hair. And I've given it a little bit of that dark bluish color. And then I'm going to take some of the lighter color that uh, is part of the hair and I put a little bit of that over the top. I'm just going to do it roughly to start with so that you can understand that. And then I'm going to get into the dark brown with a little blue under here because this is darker in value. And we work it like that. Okay, hope that makes sense. So outside to the end, down to work towards the middle. Okay, we're working towards the middle here. And then underneath the chin, I'll go back into some of that straight orange right here. Let's make sure, and we're going to go in the direction that the hair is going, like that. That's underneath. And then I'll start adding more light color just a little bit as we move out, like that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. You can use a little bit of raw sienna and white too. That works out fine. And we'll just kind of work that around and double check our measurements as we go. Every time I take a stroke, I'm, I'm putting down, put something down and then I'm kind of correcting around or double checking to making, make sure that I have it as close as I possibly can with each stroke. Okay, and then I can take what I've got on my brush down here, again, working my way from the outside in if I possibly can, okay. It's not 100% of the time you don't do it that way, but but it's a good thing if you kind of get stuck to know, okay, well, let's just start from the outside and work my way in. See, if I start from the middle, then I have to work my hair underneath. That doesn't work. You gotta get a paint the top hairs over the bottom hairs is what I'm trying to say. Okay, now let's get a little bit of that, that orange and white and a little tiny bit of Indian. This is the most powerful color on the planet. Indian red, oh my gosh. 
That is so strong. And I'm going to put that up in here. I got a little bit of a booger on there. Hang on. And I'm going to put that up in here like this into the ear and then double check that. And yeah, that's a pretty good start. And I think I'll do the same thing for the inside, whatever is on my brush. I'm giving it kind of a glow right there. Let's make it glow even more. A little more orange and white on my dirty brush. And I'm going to come over, double checking, double checking. And where does this go? Oh, right there. That's a big glow. Wow. I like that. And we'll give this a little bit of a glow on the edge of the ear like that. That's really yummy. I like it. And then I'm going to do another round of an even darker uh, blue with brown underneath the eye. Like that. And I'm working my way out from the eye kind of like this. And uh, so that that eye almost disappears, but it will come back when we put the highlights on. That'll be the yummy part. I think it needs to be a little more on the blue side, but I'm going to actually use a little bit of turquoise, you guys. Some teal with a little white on my brush. And I'm going to throw that into the nose. Wow, isn't that wild? And whatever else I've got on my brush. Okay, so it's a little bit of cobalt. What is that? Oh, cobalt um, turquoise, teal, cobalt teal. One of my favorite colors. I love that. And I'm going to throw that up into the nose. I know that looks really crazy and you're all going, oh my gosh, she's lost her mind. Oh well, that's okay. I'll find it again. I'm just realizing it's bright on both sides of the nose. So that's really weird. Okay, now this is just a little mixture of mud with a little more light on it. And I'm going to come in and we're going to put a little bit more light there, a little more light here. And I'm going to really work this uh, a little bit later when you're not looking, but I wanted to at least show you how to start it. Now, uh, here's the muzzle of this uh, dog. Put a little bit of that tealy stuff there. And I want to frame out the eye a little bit by putting some there. It's beginning to have a little bit of an expression, isn't it? There we go. And then I'll get some, a little more of the yellowish tinge on here. Come under the eye. Ooh, that's really bright. Okay, bright under there and then bring in some of that muscle there. I think that belongs a little bit on that nose too, so I'm going to let that go too. I hope you guys are having fun. I know I am. I have needed to kind of get moving again. I don't know, you know, it's, it's hard when you do holidays and then you have all this COVID stuff and then you have all the, you know, visitors and you have to get through Christmas and you don't know what it looks like and and then you just want to sleep you know and uh, I don't know if any of you guys have this issue but sometimes that happens to me where I just have a hard time getting out of bed well with rheumatoid that's just part of life but uh, I love the fact that I have something that will motivate me to get out and that is painting oh I love painting I love painting so I know this is starting to get a little bit funky and so I'm probably going to take a break for a couple seconds and readjust uh, the muzzle. I don't think you guys need to watch me do all of that. But let's take a look. I need that little eyebrow there, a little bit there. So I'm going to step back for a second and take a look at our animal and make sure all the parts are in the right place and I'll be right back. Okay, don't go away. Okay, well, I think I'm pretty happy with the uh, where the features are. I just kind of messed around with them and made sure they were in the right spot. Let's put on a couple of sparkles and see how far we can get. Okay, so now I'm going to take a, a little bit of a lighter uh, tone. I'm going to put a little bit of medium, which is I'm just using a little bit of thinner this time, you guys. And then uh, we'll put in a little bit of a lighter. Oh, let's get a little bit more of a white. Uh, some uh, nice feeling of white on... Uh, the shine of the nose like this and then we'll put a little bit over here you can see how that just makes that nose really really shine and we have a little curve right here and then where's another little highlight we'll have a tiny bit of a highlight right here on the nose as it kind of or the muzzle as it comes forward and then I'm going to come over here and put in that was a little bit fat uh, and then put in a little bit of a, a mark there and over here on this side, I'm going to come out, and I think it's a little further over, so we'll see. Maybe need to adjust that a little bit. A little sparkle in the eye. 
a little dark. I'm going to go put the dark back in again and get this guy's eye in the right place. I think I moved it. I'm getting a little silly. I think it's dinner time. And then uh, I need to put some dark brown. And I think I lost this guy's eye. Okay, here we go. This is getting funny looking. And then uh, let's see, we'll get a little dark there. Very dark right in here. You can see why I have to eventually sit down and just really get you know things in the right place, that's for sure. All right, this part looks a little weird. And this definitely looks weird. Okay, hold on. Uh, get that going a little bit different there. I'll give it a little tiny bit of a sparkle. I've got to hold my arm up a little bit differently. There's a sparkle there. And I think I'm going to put it on the same side. There, that's, that's really strange looking, but I'll fix that later. And now I'm going to get the shape of this eye in like that and then bring it around like this and a little bit of a really dark black pupil in the middle there. That helps quite a bit and I'll do the same thing. I've got one eye a little bit different so I am going to correct this uh, a little bit when you're not looking. Get that eye down a little ways. There, okay. Hmm, that looks so funny you guys. All right, now uh, let's see what else. Okay, we've got this part, we've got this part. So anyway, I'm, uh, uh, and then I'll also bring, the animal has got to come out that way because it looks more like a giraffe at this point. So let's uh, figure that out real quick. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Come back out. I've got the ear coming around here and then the body actually starts right about there. Missed that by a couple of inches. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Super funny. That's interesting. And we'll get this a little bit darker right here. Definitely darker. Okay, let's give it a little tiny bit of a... I gotta work that highlight just a little bit. A little bit of a highlight right there. A highlight right there. And it looks like it's looking at you at this stage, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, well that's fun. Okay, well, now this is all I'm going to do on this particular study. I think I have kind of gotten the animal down in my mind, and I think I know where I'm going to go with it. And so uh, you say, study? What are you talking about? It's not the finished painting? No, it's not. I take several hours to do each painting, and sometimes, you know, upwards to 10, 15 hours, depending on what I'm working on. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice uh, little paper towel, I'm going to dip this into thinner and I'm going to wipe the entire thing off again and start it again from scratch. And now I have it in my mind pretty solid so I'll be able to paint it accurately and beautifully uh, when I'm focused on it. I'll be back in just a few moments and meanwhile while I'm painting away I'm going to show you a few photos of some of the other dogs that I've painted and then we'll take a look at this final painting in the end. It's going to be quite quite amazing. All right, don't go away. Okay, you guys, I am back after several days. I worked on this about an extra 15 hours and uh, this is where I'm at right now. It's almost done, and I thought it would be kind of fun to show it to you at this stage. So what have I done? Well, I've really changed up the background, haven't I? I've put in that wonderful blue sky up here. Uh, it's made out of teal and maybe a little dioxazine purple and white, and then some teal uh, with, um, a, again, I think I've muted it down just a tad with a little bit of dioxazine purple. Not too much, mostly teal. And then um, and some uh, just a, a little more pure uh, right here. Now this tonal value is very close to this and I did that on purpose. All right, it's a little bit um, like a middle light tone so that the dark fur on the back of the dog will stand off from the light right here. And then over here I have light fur right here that will stand off 
with uh, the background over here. I've also darkened it way dark down here so that the chest hairs will stand out. And that worked out pretty good. So what you're looking for is that nice contrast. And so you have to manipulate that background a little bit so that it'll work. If I had just put everything in this tone, uh, that hair would not have stood out hardly at all. So, you know, that's just one of the lessons of the day. Okay, guys, now don't forget to, um, that you can share this video on your Facebook wall. I hope that you do. Let me know if you do. And also, you can go onto my Etsy site at nettykstudio.etsy.com and you can order one of these of your own pet. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Especially with all that stimulus money. Not that it was very much, but um, that stimulus money that came in, maybe you didn't need all of it. Uh, you know, maybe you'd like to support a starving artist over here. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, so next time we meet, who knows what we'll be doing, but it'll be a lot of fun, and I hope you will join me and share with your friends, and I'll see you again next time. Hang in there, everybody. Bye-bye for now.